Thank you, Troy. Um, <laughs> I bought this computer, right? And it came with a, a EVGA keyboard. It was a mechanical keyboard, had all the RGB, very gamer, not my typical style. My typical style at that point had been the slim Logitech keyboard, uh, the MX keys, which is a great keyboard, by the way, uh, very silent and all that. But when I started using that gamer keyboard, I was like, I kind of like, I kind of like uh, the mechanical feel. Like, I like it. I like the clicky. I like the tactileness. I think I'm going to start looking into mechanical. So for, yeah, it was a very gamer keyboard. I should have pulled that one out too, but it's it's neither here nor there. It was a very basic uh, mechanical keyboard entry point. So for Christmas, I think it was either Mrs. Nonder or Kay. It might have been Mrs. Nonder. Uh, I did a little bit of research and I got this keyboard, right? Uh, I knew little to nothing about keyboards at this point in time that I got this. So this was a great starting point. And I still aesthetically really like this keyboard. This is a Keychron key, Keychron K4A2. The A2 is important in this story, okay? I just realized I also have to grab something really quick. It was you, okay, good. I'm not saying I don't like that keyboard, Mrs. Nonder. Don't get me wrong, okay? Don't get it twisted because, um, you know, I had no entry. I had no like knowledge about uh, mechanical keyboards at the time. So I just picked one up that I thought was, um, I just picked one up that I thought was pretty cool. Right. Um, as a good, as a good way to enter. I thought that I enjoyed clicky sounds and I guess I do to a degree until I found out that there's other sounds out there. It's Chuck Norris's water. But Keychron- It's a roundhouse kick of hydration. Thank you. Keychron uh, is, is big into custom it's keyboards, Norris's right? Chuck Norris's water. It's a roundhouse kick of hydration. It's Chuck Norris's water. It's a roundhouse kick of hydration. I'm a Swedish it's Viking. Chuck Norris's water. No! It's a roundhouse kick of hydration. Sure you didn't, Troy. Sure. Anyway, Keychron is known for like their, their custom. <laughs> oh Lord, I'm sorry. I do, I already need to pee. But uh, Keychron is known for the custom keyboard. So I was like, okay, well, I'll, I'll get this for Christmas. Uh, it, this has blue switches in it which if you're not in the keyboard world does mean something. And like, don't worry, I'm not gonna turn this into like a whole keyboard nerd thing. I just wanna show Cabbage. you some things, okay? So if you're watching this like VOD after the fact, this is not like a keyboard type video. Anyway, you'll see. We need a new yard sprinkler, says Mrs. Nonder. So I'm probably gonna have to get her one of those after this. Um, so anyway, good keyboard, I like it. So I got it because I was like, okay, so Keychrons are custom keyboards. You can swap out the switches in them, right? So if you got a one type of switch in it, you can swap it out for another one, get a different sound, get a different feel. That's why I inevitably went with this one, right? Okay, so fast forward to like a couple weeks ago, um, I, I was looking around doing research and I'm seeing all over the internet that the Keychron K4 is hot swappable meaning you can swap out switches. Okay, this is a switch. This is a switch right here. This is an optical black switch, okay? For some reason, I had it in my head that this one would support optical switches, which I'm pretty sure I'd have to find the website. I'm pretty sure I found that, though, that said you, it could. Uh, check out the sound of this one. Pretty quiet as, as switches go. Uh, because this one, oh, I was going to leave my phone up. Oh, shoot. I was going to leave my phone up so you could hear this. Uh, crud. Hang on. Sorry. <laughs> I took the Lego phone down, but I meant to leave that up so that you could see what I'm talking about. Okay. So hang on. Give me just a moment. Shoot. I meant to have this up. Ah, now it's not going to turn on because it needs my face. My gross face. Uh, okay. Here we go. Mm, excuse me. All right, we're connected. Everything should be good. 
Come on. Why are you being weird? Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Now you're good. All right. That's what I, that's what I want to see right there. Okay. So, all right. So this is, this is the sound of this keyboard. Uh, this is a Keychron K4A2, uh, with blue switches, right? Okay. Here you go. Here you go. You've probably all heard this sound a lot. If you're, if you're watching the stream and I'm like, you've heard this a lot. So those are, those are blue switches. The blue switches are very clicky, right? Very, very clicky. Okay. Fine. I thought I liked clicky, but, but the real thing is I thought I could modify this keyboard, right? Because the K4 is mod is, is you can modify the K4, right? What I said before though, K4A2. So I bought all of these switches and I should have done a little more research because the K4A2 is not hot swappable. So guys, like I took off every single one of these keys. I took every single one of these off and then I started to try to take the switches off and they wouldn't come off. And so I'm furiously looking up YouTube videos like, why are these why are these switches not coming off? I'm watching people do tutorials. I'm watching people with what looks like the exact same keyboard. I'm watching them take the take them out. They just pop them right out, right? This is kind of what it looks like. I should have grabbed. There, there's the blue. I'm watching all these YouTube videos. Why aren't they why aren't they coming out? And then I find in a random subreddit somewhere they're like, oh, you have the K4A2. The K4A2 is not hot swappable. That's the term, hot swappable. I didn't know. I didn't know. I was like, okay, I'll get blues. I'll start with something clicky. And then after like a year, I'm like, okay, I want to switch to something else. I didn't do my research well enough. I love this keyboard. I love Mrs. Nonder for getting me this keyboard. I'm going to keep this keyboard. <sighs> but it wasn't hot swappable. I'll take those switches. Normally I'm within one or two. If you want them, they are more, they're yours. Uh, will you check on your keyboard that it is compatible with optical switches? So here's the other thing too, is these ones are optical. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but like on non-optical ones, I don't have any with me right now that have two pins right here that connect to the motherboard or the board, not the motherboard, but the board. See if any keyboard guys watch this video, they're going to get triggered by me uh i apologize ahead of time okay i'm new to this whole thing but uh these are optical so they are switched by you see how you can see through to my finger right there and when you push this down they're triggered by optical pcb thank you levi so yeah i don't even think these would have been compatible anyway uh but yeah i would have to basically rip out the old ones from the k4 uh the, from the PCB, I'd have to rip them out without damaging the PCB and then re-solder them on. But I don't even know if these are compatible anyway. So if if your if your K6 is compatible with optical switches, Troy, you can have these. I actually have two two of these two of these containers because you needed like a certain number to have enough for the entire keyboard. So uh, they're yours if you want them. Okay. All right. So. Fast forward then, uh, after that, I'm like, well, now I'm obsessed. Now I need to work something out. Because I really want to try different switches, right? So um, I'm looking for a keyboard that has, is basically full size, essentially, that has the numpad. I do a lot of work uh, with the numpad. And so I'm like, I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to, um, I don't want to have to relearn how to type numbers on, on the numbers up top. I'm down. I have to, I have to have a numpad. Yes. Down the rabbit hole for sure. I now have my YouTube is, is full, full of keyboard videos, just absolutely chock full of keyboard videos. And, um, <laughs> I accidentally watched some on our TV out there too, which I didn't realize was connected to Mrs. Nonder's account. 
And so now she has keyboard videos in hers, so she's extra, she's extra happy about that. So anyway, as I was researching this, and just like, man, I just, I really want to experience like a different sound. I don't, when I'm typing in here, Mrs. Nodder can hear me out there. One day she was using my computer and I was out in the living room. She was using my computer, typing something up. And I, I was like, holy cow. I didn't know that you could hear it that much. This keyboard is loud, loud, which is great for like when it, I'm by myself in my office, but it's loud. So I feel bad for Mrs. Nonder. Yeah, she bought me this keyboard for Christmas and then now I'm just like crapping all over it. I, I do like it. I love the aesthetic. If it had been hot swappable, it's my fault for not realizing it wasn't hot swappable. I thought it was, I just didn't do enough research. Now I've done a ton of research, I'm prepared. So anyway, I'm looking, I'm, I'm obsessing. I'm like, okay, do I go with a custom keyboard? Do I just buy one already pre-built? And then one day I'm on the Keychron website, which I still think like for me personally, I love Keychron keyboards, now I have two. So I like Keychron keyboards. Um, and all of a sudden they drop a brand new keyboard the Keychron Q5? Yes, Keychron Q5. Um, let me pull it up real quick. Hang on one sec. Okay. Let me pull a picture for you. All right. Here we go. This bad boy drops. And I, I have already been doing research into types of switches. I kind of get what the difference between a red, a blue, and a brown is. Uh, we're not going to get into that because we don't need to be that dorky. But this is the Q5, full number pad. A really nice, like, I like the color scheme on it. Uh, I also thought that I could, I could swap out the keycaps, which I can do on this one. Um, but eventually, I also want to be able to swap out the keycaps for, like, custom keypad, keycaps and whatnot. Um, I heard somewhere that removing videos from your watch history takes them out of recommendations. Maybe, maybe some, I mean, I don't mind. I kind of like them, but it has really taken over my YouTube like crazy, <laughs> crazy. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, I think that this is it. I know I want to go with like a brown switch because of the sound. And I think this is it. So I got it. Oh, it's not even going to fit in the camera. It's not going to fit in the camera fully. Um, this thing is like all, all aluminum. Watch this. Here's the... It's heavy. It's hefty. Listen. Like, it's, it's, it's probably the heaviest keyboard I've ever owned. It's got that RGB stuff if I really want it. You know? I got that gamer cred. There's some rainbow colors to it. I prefer like a solid blue. So I think I have that set as one of the presets here. If I can get back to it. There we go. I prefer the solid blue. I like the solid blue. You could kill someone that you really could. Look at this. Oh, jeez, It's so heavy. I mean, that's just like all the way through aluminum. It's cold to the touch, which I find some for some reason just so relaxing that it's just like cold to the touch. But the real reason. I want you to keep in mind, like, can I zoom out? I could go, oh wait, I can go into this view. What am I doing? I can go into this view. There you go. There you go. Uh, keep in mind, like, the kind of sound I'm trying to go for is something akin to the Lego build sound in Lego Star Wars, Clumsy. Clumsy is currently playing that. She knows, she knows what I'm talking about. So remembering what this keyboard sounded like, here, I can actually do it right here. This is what all the this is what all the keyboard channels do, right? They go like this and they go, oh hang on, let me put the put this down here. They go like this and they click the mouse. Okay. Compared with Oh, hang on, I gotta get a notepad up because I'm actually connected. 
Spoiler. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh. Okay, this is super professional. Okay, here you go. All right. Let me let me bring up the volume. Here we go. Okay, right, right, compared to that. This is a, I, honestly, I get so much joy out of typing on this thing. It's, it's, it's wild. I don't judge my typing, by the way. I learned how to type on AOL Instant Messenger, so, LOL. OMG, WTF. So I kind of hunt and peck a little bit, but yeah, like, how good does that sound, guys? Like, I'm not trying to flex on the purchase. I just want you to hear that. Uh, and now Mrs. Nonder's like, oh, I can't even hear you out there because it just sounds so, it sounds so nice. So I, I purchased this because this one is hot swappable. I can put switches in this one. Uh, I don't think it's optical, but that doesn't matter. I can put any other type of switch in here. I can customize the keycaps. But when I tell you that I took this out of the box and typed on it for the first time, I was like, I don't know, this might just be it. Like this might just be, this was the sound I was trying to go for. I think, I think I'm okay. I think I'm fine with this. Okay, one more time. I start typing something actually, and then I just give up and start gibberish. And the space bar. The space bar is really key to a sound because it can sound very harsh, even in comparison to other keys, right? You got this one and then how thunk, like it thunk, thunk, thunk. So like the key, the, the space bar is like so incredibly important. It's like, thunk, 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 thunk. it's just, anyway, I can't explain it. But that has been my whole journey into keyboard land uh, for the last month or so. And honestly, I think, I think I'm happy with that. I think it's pretty much good to go. Um, but I have the option in the future that I can swap out switches and do some more stuff. The only other thing I'm slightly interested in is I, I could listen to it all day too. The only other thing I'm slightly interested in is these ceramic keycaps. I think the ceramic keycaps kind of make this like really, really interesting sound. So I might be interested in picking up some different keycaps later, but as far as switches go, I don't know this whole thing. I know it's it's a combination. Sound is a combination. That's what everybody on YouTube has been telling me. Sound is a combination of the type. You can almost kind of tell like the type of build material. I mean, plastic gives a different sound versus the aluminum. These would these switches would probably sound different in this aluminum casing, right? Uh, as does the like ceramic the type of keycap. These ones are like a lot lighter. I've noticed than these. I think these are like. I don't know what they call it, like double coated or double shot, I think is what it, the term is. Um, something like that. But yeah, it just ends up being, uh, on a whole, the experience is different. And I feel like I listened to some sound tests. Even listening to it through a mic isn't quite, I think it's louder for you all than it is for me. Because of course I put the mic super close. Um, but in person, it's just such a satisfying little, just a satisfying little, <sighs> It's the Lego build sound. That's all I can compare it to. I think it might be my favorite keyboard. Um, sorry, Mrs. Nonder. I love you. Thank you so much for for uh, for putting up with my my weird uh, hobbies and eccentric. What's that word I'm thinking of? Eccentric. Eccentricities. Eccentricity. Eccentricity. Eccentricity.
Eccentricity. I don't even know if that's a word. So anyway, thanks for indulging me in this. This is fun. I, this keyboard is just out of this world. This has not been a sponsor spot for Keychron. Uh, however, if I ever got sponsored by Keychron, I would take that in a heartbeat because these are, I think these are really good products and it's really, really fun. Uh, but I don't know. I think at least for now, I'm happy. I think I'm done with, I think I'm done with <laughs> keyboard videos, but we'll see. Hit me up in a month and we'll talk about it again and we'll see how I'm doing. But yeah, so that's it. That's all I wanted to go through. That's been kind of a little bit of a journey. Eccentricities, e eccentrics, maybe something like that. Anyway, emotes done. Let's end, let's end this with a little inside emote joke. Uh, let's bring it up. Let's do it. <sighs> Clumsy. Excellent. Look at this. We're opening that original. Look at that. That is going to make such a great emo. I'm going to upload that today. That is going on today. You'll have your accreditation on it today. That's perfect. When you just want to express like either you can either use it for the condescending Wonka or just express some type of like fanciness, right? It's a fancy. I appreciate that you give me such a great hairline too. <laughs> you didn't have to do that, but you did. So I appreciate it. That is so great. So great. That's so great. All right, everybody. Uh, this has been another fun stream. Favorite day of the week, cold coffee. Mm. Cold coffee's all around. <laughs>